Okay, y'all, we're going to go ahead and make some chicken and gravy. We're going to go ahead and start off with two tablespoons of olive oil and one large onion chopped. So let's go ahead and turn our heat on. And once our oil heats up a little bit, we'll go ahead and add the onions in. Add our onion in here. And we are going to start softening all these onions up before we add in our chicken. So while these are all softening, we are going to go ahead and put some seasoning on our chicken thighs. Right, y'all, so I got eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs in here. I'm going to put some oil on there. And this is all the seasonings that's going to go in this. So we're going to start off with some garlic powder. Some onion powder. Some pepper. And then we're going to use Cavender's Greek seasoning. And it's pretty much just an all-purpose seasoning. Sprinkle that on there. And we're going to go ahead and toss that around. There go. So I got them all seasoned up. Again, that's the only seasonings that's going to go in here. So you're going to need some Worcestershire sauce, some chicken stock, and a third of a cup of flour, and just a little bit more of olive oil here in just a little bit. I have family cookbooks available for purchase. I'll put the link above and below in the comments if you want to go ahead and get yourself a copy of that. I'm just trying to get these onions so they have a little bit of color on them. And then we're going to add in our chicken. So my onions are just about softened. I'm going to go ahead and shake about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce in there. And I'm going to let this cook for just one more minute. All right, y'all, so again, this is eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We are going to cook them a few minutes on each side. We're going to brown them up. Now, I'm not going to be able to get them all in my pan. So what I'm going to do is do them in batches, and then we'll take them out and set them to the side. And you're just going to leave your onions in there, and it's going to give you all that flavor. Okay, so brown them. Probably six minutes on each side. So it's brown on the one side. We're going to go ahead and flip it and cook it another six minutes on this side. And we'll pull this out and put our others in. So this is done. We're going to go ahead and pull this out. We're going to set it to the side. I'm going to get my other chicken in here. And all that brown bits at the bottom is flavor. So you want to leave it all in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in there. And we're going to cook this up. I went ahead and flip those just a few more minutes. And then the next thing you're going to need is about a tablespoon of olive oil if you do not have any oil left in there from your chicken and a third of a cup of flour. I'm going to go ahead and take my last pieces of chicken out and we're going to get our flour in here. There go. So there's all my chicken. Now you want to make sure you at least have one to two tablespoons of olive oil in here and you want to go ahead and add a third of a cup of flour because we're going to make a roux. We're going to get our flour all browned up. And we're going to cook this for just a minute or two. Go ahead and add in. We're going to use a whole 32 ounce of chicken stock. I like the stock better. I think it tastes better. So I'm going to put a little bit in there. And then we're going to get ready to add in the rest. You just want to stir as you're adding it. 
because you want a nice smooth gravy. Let's go ahead and add the rest of it in here. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring this up to a boil. And once this becomes a boil, we're going to go ahead and add our chicken in there, turn it down, put a lid on it, and simmer it for about 45 minutes to an hour. All those brown bits are going to come off the bottom. And that's just your onion and the flavor that's going to enhance in your gravy. Now, we will eat this either over mashed potatoes or rice. I'm going to make rice tonight. So just bring this up to boil. We'll stick our chicken back in. And this won't take long after that. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead add our chicken in here. And all the juice can go in there as well. Okay. And we're going to cover this up. And let this simmer again 45 minutes to an hour so we will see you back here then all right y'all it's been in there for 45 minutes you can leave it go for the hour if you want I got some rice and it's not super super thick now if you want yours thicker just go ahead and let it simmer a little bit longer but the longer that it does sit it will thicken up we're going to put a little bit of chicken and gravy over our rice. And this is what we're having for dinner. Again, you will have to add salt to your likings. So if anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. The link for the cookbook will be above and below this post. And please like and share. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day.